Hello everybody, Hey, Mario Mario Sunshine here, and today we have a, two matches for you, two of them are tonic kills. Uh, actually, I'll show one video, and I'll show actually, uh, this one, this one with Mario instead. Because I really don't want to show too much Luigi, because I know it kind of gets a little bit boring to see the same character over and over again. Cough, cough, Diddy Kong back in, like, the old update in tournaments. So anyways, here we have it. Uh, once again, Mellow Stream, so if you want to go check it out, the stream is Marshmallow, like Mellow, M-E-L-L-O-W, so anyways, here we go, starting off, once again, it's another Pac-Man, this time we're using customs, I think I have my, this is like before I had my Ice Ball one, which I did get at this time, my Ice Ball one, and I'm actually happy that I have it, because the Ice Ball, it could be very helpful, especially with, like, with Little Mac, since, uh, sometimes some Little Mac names could know what they're doing, especially Mellow, so I want to, like, stop him in his tracks with his, with an ice ball, which could potentially freeze him. I also have a, a the more powerful version of the side B, the Luigi's Misfire. I have the more powerful version. Oh, here we go, the top kill. It will happen probably soon. But, yeah, I have a more powerful version of it. And, you know, it's uncontrollable sometimes, but it helps with Luigi's recovery even more. Like, if you're sent flying to the other side, like, this thing could not only do damage, but it could just rack up pain. Like, I like, like, if, especially since they said that the misfire could actually happen more often. Okay. On it, and uh, the floating mist, the floating one is like doesn't do much. I didn't change anything with my down B. Those are like the only two I probably would change is my neutral B and my uh, my side B, depending. Because side B could be useful if you get like a misfire and get lucky on it. So, anyways, yeah. So if you're playing, if you want me to play with customs, I would will, and those will probably be the only two customs I'll use on Luigi. Rosalina, I'll probably use the Shooting Star a bit, or maybe a Luma, Luma Warp, since I've been hearing about that. That it's very good, the Luma Warp, and like it brings you automatically to like a place where you could just easily rack up combos, and they can't really get out. So that's why I heard. So anyways, here we have another another one. This time with Mario and Toon Link and. That time I accidentally damaged him, so I'm gonna let him attack me. You know, even though it's a 1% difference, it's still gonna be. As you can see, I'm gonna try using my cape a little bit here because, you know, Toon Link is projectile heavy. He's gonna try, you know, attacking me with all those projectiles. So, you know, I wanna try using a projectile game and try reversing his projectile game, you know, either using my shield or my cape to reflect them back. Or at least try dodging them. So, my best situation if you're stuck in gets like a projectile heavy character, like for example, two link here, for example, try going for a character that is able to reverse any of it or take away any of the projectiles. For example, like Palutena, Mario, or Rosalina. Uh, or you can have characters that could easily dodge it, like Kirby or Luigi. They could be good examples as well, because. You know, they really are very good at dodging projectiles, and they have projectiles of their own. And Kirby could actually use the projectiles of his enemies, making them more deadly, you know? especially as, like, his own, his own tiny projectile game. But Kirby could get, like, even more deadly with the projectile game, with, like, if he just takes, uh, his opponent's moveset. He could, he could become, have, like, a more deadlier, uh, projectile game. Especially if he's... If he's facing Shulk, it could be another de uh, huge matchup for Kirby because he, now he could get the M Monados, in which it not, not only it like increases the same thing that the Monado does to Shulk, but it does it makes Kirby destructive, especially with his jump. Kirby really is the most ridiculous recovery in the game, and now you're giving him the jump Monado. And this just increases it more, and just imagine with Speed Kirby, Smash Kirby, like, Kirby, when facing Shulk, is just like, 
You know what, show I mean, you can't, you're not able to wield a Monado, Monado. And just Kirby's just like, nope. It's mine now. You know, like, he uses so more efficiently. Like, that's what Kirby's known for, using your own power-ups more efficiently. But, you know, Kirby, he's quite light, so... You know, he's actually very good in this game. He hasn't been good in Smash Bros. in a long time. And also, uh... I'm trying to learn, you know, some stroke techniques, techniques and Rosalina ones. I'm still trying to, even though Rosalina, I consider her my second best character. I'm still trying to learn her a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Here comes the cape kill. Yeah, so I'm also trying to learn a little bit more Rosalina, Palatina. Uh, trying to improve my Luigi, even though he's like my best character. I'm going to try doing Jigglypuff a little bit more Mario. You know... Mario and Dr. Mario are probably my two favorite characters to troll with, especially people with terrible recovery or, like, they just finished using their B and I just, like, come in and just reflect it or cape it. Palatina is also like that, except, you know, you just get a little push. I only did that once with Palatina to, like, a Womack, because, like, you know, the, the reflect mirror kind of forces them to go back a bit, so... Yeah, he pro the person probably would have recovered, but anyways, but it's I think I find it better when I use Mario's cape or Doctor Mario's cape. I find it much better, much more useful. Uh, I want to see. Actually, let's show you uh, a Rosalina one. Why not? To show you how like my Rosalina's been, and I'll show you. And this is my friend, as you remember, I got the taunt kill on him. We have many close matches. But we're gonna have we're gonna show you the first time with Mewtwo. I'm not sure if we did this before, but yeah, Mewtwo is finally here. And uh, this happened today, yeah. This happened today, it came out worldwide. Uh, for those who didn't uh, get the download or the download code. These are some pretty good matches with Rosalina just like destroying here. Like this like Rosalina is just so good in every matchup except Sheik, that's what I heard. Like I I played against a few Rosalinas, especially no, not Rosalinas. No, yeah, I played a few Rosal played with a few Rosalinas with like Luigi. I just got destroyed. Like first, I thought I could handle them, but then like they adapted. Like Rosalina is that kind of adapting character. Like she has Luma right behind her as like a bodyguard. If even if Luma wasn't there, if it was just Rosalina, it would still she would still be one of the best characters in the game. She's the best, one of the best recoveries. She could, she has all around the wide ranges of attack. Sure, she'd be lacking a projectile. I should, what would replace Luma then? If like for B or something, maybe like Star Bits or something, I don't know, but. She's really, is powerful. I just want to know a little bit more how to like use her, because I know like the bread and butter combos of Rosalina. I need to learn a little bit more, like, how to use Luma more efficiently instead of just, like, having it there to destroy, like, go wreck havoc and whatnot. I want, like, to know how to use it efficiently and professionally, and I'll try a little bit harder. As you can see, Mewtwo is very good in this game, actually. Uh, as for Mewtwo, he actually could grab you out of shields with his, uh, side special. He could actually lead into, lead into, like, combos and whatnot with his, uh, like, let's say he charged up his, uh, his Shadow Ball. He could actually fire it and, like, as you saw in the beginning of the video, he just, like, fired it and it went straight for, like, a smash attack. You, you, that's, like, possible, actually. I've seen it happen before. It's pretty cool. Some of the best, like, moves, like, he has very good recovery. Even for a light character, he has some of the best recovery. And, you know, he seems a lot more easier to use than in, you know, melee. He's, he's like, a, his throws are different. His up throw is probably his most powerful throw, so I would recommend using that the most. To, like, launch your opponents away ease. And, uh, I think that's about it for Mewtwo. Mewtwo, I don't really know much about Mewtwo yet. I'm kind of trying to get used to him. Even though I've been having him longer than the most people who got him, like, you know, yesterday slash today. But, anyways, thank you all for watching this three 
replay video. We got Rosalina, Luigi, and Ma the Ma and Mario all together into one video. So, anyways, love my videos with a like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll really appreciate it. And yes, so we'll probably bring you some more Pokemon Diamond and Pearl later on this week. I'm hoping to do that. And without further ado, I'd like to end the video. See you guys next time. Bye. And uh, we'll probably see you for more Smash Brothers replays. Also, if you want to suggest me a character to use or play or just do one replay with online, then sure, I'll go ahead and do it if you want. I'll try out that character, see what I could do. Just please don't let me Zelda or DDD. I just don't like using them at all. I can't really get used to their combos. It's hard. I'm being honest. So anyways, see you guys then. Bye.